Um, my name is Sherry Braun, and I'm a um, second year university student mm -hmm. taking math and biology right now. I'm planning to go into, into education. And you're, you're a new mother? I am, yes. I have a daughter who is almost two years old. Mm -hmm. I wanted a career that would give me a lot of time with my daughter. Mm -hmm. And the high school teaching seemed to kind of give me that option. Um, I'll have the summers off, so I'll be able to spend time with her when she's not in school. Mm -hmm. So that's why I've chosen that path. Um, do you think do you think your being being a single mom um, informs your your political outlook at all? Oh, absolutely. I'm considering things that I would have never considered before I became a parent. Like but daycare has become yeah. high on my list of concerns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, I, what would you like to see them address? Um, well, as I mentioned, daycare. I know that they did allocate funding at the university for 110 spots, mm -hmm. um, but I'm concerned about where that funding is going to go specifically. Um, I'd like to see it go into the, the places that they need. Um, for example, a lot of the daycares only allow children in who are 18 months or older, mm -hmm. but as a single parent, Quite often, you have to go to work at when your child is one year old, or even sooner. Um, what well, most parents do, whether or not mm -hmm. they're single. So I'm not sure if the funding is going to be going to there, and I'd like that. I'd like to see them address that issue a little bit more. For the for the younger. Yeah, younger absolutely. Children. For six months and up, it's mm -hmm. it's very difficult for a child to get into a daycare. Um, quite often, there's long waiting lists. Mm -hmm. My daughter was on a waiting list for almost a year. But you have a spot now? I do, yes, and in a licensed facility. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's the key is, is we need licensed facilities. Yeah. Yeah. You can have some like reassurance that um, at least feel, feel like your child's in good hands. Yeah, absolutely. And the cost is, is substantially different. Um, at a licensed facility, you can receive subsidy up to half that cost, whereas mm -hmm. At an unlicensed facility, I've heard of people paying for very small children upwards of eight hundred, nine hundred dollars a month for childcare, and that's that's not acceptable. Something there needs to change. <laughs> so, um, if you were writing the policy, what would it what would it look like? I would make sure that there was funding allocated for for infant spots, mm -hmm. um, and um, I guess establish funding to set up licensed facilities and get workers in that would that would be able to look after infants. Mm -hmm. yeah, are there any other issues that, um, that you I, think should be on there? I'm a little concerned about the HST. <laughs> um, I know mm -hmm. that our, our provincial government has kind of pushed that aside for now and, and thwarted the, gover the federal government's attempts to get that enforced here. but. Mm -hmm. I'm concerned about it because I spend a lot of money on children's clothing and right now of course with with it being PST and GST I'm not paying PST on children's clothing but if it was harmonized my fear is that now all of a sudden I'd be paying what is the GST now five percent mm -hmm. be paying five percent more on my daughter's clothing which she outgrows quickly or <laughs> mm -hmm. rips while she's playing um, so it'd be ten percent instead of five. And yeah, and even though that seems like a small amount, um, every yeah. little bit <laughs> adds up. Yeah. Especially when you spend as much as I do on clothing. So you'd like to make sure that um, the HST doesn't. Yeah. Doesn't come to Saskatchewan. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. and like I said, the, the federal government seems to be really interested in pushing that into all of the provinces with the incentives that they're providing. Mm -hmm. So I'd like some reassurance from from the parties that we're not going to see HST anytime soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs>